Okay, so it's Thursday, October 13th. Yeah, October 13th. I haven't shown y'all what I really eat on a regular. Um, this is me every morning, right here. Every morning. Two, usually two over medium eggs with some rice with the veggies in it. And um, yeah, we have an unrep today and we're supposed to pull in tomorrow, but Ain't no but actually, yeah, we're supposed to pull in tomorrow, which is uh, good news to me because we were supposed to stay out for another like four days. But uh, that is good, good news to me. But um, I'm about to eat this real quick. It's about 7.05. Um, I love y'all. Oh, I haven't told you, or I think I have. My date is November 1st, so I literally have two weeks. I'm hoping, or I'm thinking I'm probably going to be a little bit overdue, but I'm hoping I'm overdue by one full month, so I want to go home December 1st, so I'll be home all of December, all of January, then I'll jump back, well, I wanted to be home in January, so I was going to be, if I got home on time, November 1st, I'll stay home all of November, December, jump on a ship in January, and I was going to stay from January to June. And then I was gonna be off the rest of next year. So I was gonna do six months next year and be off for the rest of the year. Kinda of wanna, I wanna be overdue by one month. So I can be home all of December and January. But I don't know. Like I want to, but I wanna leave in January. So I can be home by June. But we'll see, I don't know. Anyways, I love you. <laughs> okay, so I y'all see how much money I make. This isn't that, but that's why I always say try to move up as much as possible. Because don't get me wrong, I've got everything that I've gotten because of this job, and I got in the position that I'm in. You can make do with what I'm getting. You can definitely make do. It's definitely not nothing. As y'all saw before, eight to eighty four hundred every like a month on some ships, you know what I'm saying? Which isn't bad money or anything like that. But if you come out, move up, man, I'm telling you. Or if you if you're young, you're looking at this and you're like 16, 17, you know what I'm saying? Go think about going to the academy. I'm telling you, like yeah, some people are like, oh, just, I'm, I'm cool. Just I just want to get out there, work from the bottom and move up, stuff like that. If you can go to the academy, go to the academy. Finish school, you'll be done. Let's say you go at 18 or 19 or something like that, you'll be finished by 23. And immediately, you'll be grossing like a buck 20, a buck 30 a year. And then once you get to like anything past the Okay, this any past the entry of like third engineer or third mate or just uh, JSO, which is junior supply officer. This is an MSC, anyways. Third engineer, third mate, or JSO. Once you JSO, you're off the rip. You're making pretty decent money. Okay, let's say third mate or third engineer. You know you're already touching a hundred. But once you get the second engineer or navigator or oh my gosh the money becomes like really different and then um once you like maneuver y'all are capping out every year when i say cap out is like so you're only allotted two i think it's 225 or 250 you're allowed to make so you so let's say you're a second engineer right so you are only allowed to cap at you're only allowed to make 200 some grand a year. Let's say six months in, you're at 200. There's a there's first engineers, second engineers, chief engineers. Well, chief engineer, here's the thing. The top top, which is captain and chief engineer, they are got a set amount. They make 225, I think, I think it's 220 or 225, I'm not sure what it is, a year, no matter what. They're only allotted one hour of overtime, and they're only allowed to make that much a year. Now, 
And, and the thing about that, whether they're ownership or they're not, they're making the same exact amount. So that's 20 grand a month, regardless of their ownership or not. Now Chief, or not Chief, Chief Mate or First Engineer, they make their money on the ship. So they can cap out like on the ship for six months, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times they'll make more money than the Chief Engineer, because they can put in more overtime than the Chief Engineer. Yes, the chief engineer has the higher pay, but the first engineer can do more overtime and can do, uh, their pay is lower, but like I said, they can do way more overtime and they can't cap out for the year. Like I said, all here, the chief engineer and the first, and the, um, the captain can only do one hour a pay or one hour a day. The chief mate and the uh, first engineer can do as much as whatever same thing as second or cargo mate and all that stuff you know what i'm saying these are all officers these are all licensed individuals so once you get to that level to where you're making two three hundred k a year cap and you're capping out it's crazy like like i said my one of my main friends on the ship is the chief mate and this dude and the cargo mate they they're they're they cap out almost every year almost every year and if you i know you guys thinking like oh man but they gotta work so hard blah blah yeah okay they work a little bit they, it's 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 hard like everything no matter what position you're working in it is it's not even hard no no position up here is hard everything is really easy but it's just you do work the longer hours you're making the money you are like if you're doing a lot of unreps you're out there all day you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day, you are, like, the amount of money you make for the kind of work you do, bananas, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I tell people, if you can, if you're going to come at the bottom, you're going to come in like I did at the bottom, move up, man, please, I implore you, move up, because it's, <laughs> don't be like me, like, right now, if I did what I was supposed to do, I would be almost a third engineer, or I would be a third engineer, because I would have to see time. So if I came in, did my KSA for wiper the first time I came in, and I got it. So I would do wiper to EU, EU to refrigeration engineer. And then, because I would have did it like as soon as possible. I would go to EU, wiper, because you only have to say a wiper for six months. So you did wiper for six months. And then for me, I would have paid for the EU school, environment and water tending. So EU school, like, like I would have paid for myself if MSC wasn't going to pay for it. Then I would have chilled as a EU for a little bit, then I would have got my reefer endorsement after like a year or two. So this would only be like year number four. I would have got my reefer endorsement. I've been chilling as a reefer for like up until probably right now. And, and so that'd be eight years in. And mind you, reefers, it's easy for them to touch a hundred something grand a year. You know what I'm saying? And then I would have chilled as a reef refrigeration engineer. And then I would have got my thirds. And the moment I got my thirds, I went right back to the EPFs and then I said, I know one of my friends, he was making like every two weeks, like nine, nine grand in the EPFs. This is the high speed vessels. He was making nine grand every two weeks, almost 10. You know what I'm saying? That's 20 grand a month. That's 200 grand a year. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And he was just a third. But they were, they were going crazy. They were working a lot. But he was seeing like nine or eight to nine grand every two weeks. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And then, um, Imagine if you got your seconds, Ugh, it's, it's sometimes it gets disgusting, you know what I'm saying? So really, really work. If you're gonna come out here, don't just work hard, obviously work hard, but also like move up. The maritime industry is a good place to make money and to make money, I don't wanna say quick, but it's like, it is quick money. Like no matter what position you are, you're, more than likely making at least 18 to 2500 every two weeks this is take home so you're grossing at least 25 every two weeks and this is at the minimum you're grossing at least 25 to 28 every two weeks so that's 60 that's about 60 to almost some grand a year or 55 to 60 grand a year off the rip no matter what you know what i'm saying if you decide to work for a full year you're making 55 to 60 grand a year off the rip now if you maneuver if you get on specific ships like one year I made 90 some grand that's just one year I made 90 something grand and then um, I'm still at the bottom so 
really, if you want to make moves, if you want to really maneuver, come out here, do your job, move up. Like, I can't stress this enough. Move up. Do not do what I did. Move up. Get what you got to get. And make that money. So when you go home, you're like, damn, I really did this shit. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down, like, once you get to year number 10, and you're, let's say you're, let's say you did move up, or you, you all you did was go up to AB and you chilled there. But still, AB is to touch 100 almost every year. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you get to AB, or let's say you do go on an engine route, and you get to EU or Reefer, you know what I'm saying? Man, you know how much skills you just learned, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's crazy, dude. Like, this life is crazy because you're always away from home. You got to maneuver. Like, it's, if you're married, it's hard. If you have kids, it's hard. Even if you're single, it's hard. But it's easier because you don't have obligations to many people, you know what I'm saying? But no matter what position you are, you can make do. You can make money. I, I'm Like I said, I'm at the bottom. If you maneuver your money right, you can make money outside of this. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not saying I make more than anybody, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't go into anybody's pockets. I don't know. But for being at the bottom, for me to have three houses, and I'm going on number four, that's, you know what I'm saying, and that's, if one house is paid off cash, you know what I'm saying, that's saying something, like, you can do this shit, and I have no skills, none, when I came in here, all I had was a GED, to be honest, now, like I said, if you come in, do what you're supposed to do, I have another friend, he came in around the same time I did, he moved up, like, immediately, he was, he was ready, he came in, got a wiper, wiper to EU, EU, so I think he's an electrician now, he moved up immediately, like, he's making money, he's making moves, I fucked up, I didn't do that, I wish I did, but I'm trying to start now, so I'm probably going to just pay for EU school, because right now, MSC overhired for wipers, and they're not sending enough people to school, for them to become the EU, which is the next level up above wiper, so, when I'm, and they're so short EUs, so I'm about to just go get my EU endorsement, but the thing about that, if I go get it, I have to sell as a wiper for six months off the rip. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go get it and I'll be like, hey, I got my EU endorsement, but I don't have any seat time. What can you do for me? And then they're going to be like, oh, shit, because they need EUs like crazy. So I'll, they're going to be like, well, we'll put you on this ship as a wiper for a little bit. And they were going to put you over here as a EU. Uh, as long as I have my endorsement, they cannot say anything. So once I get that, once I get my EU endorsement, I'm going to sell for a little bit, get my reefer. Boom. I get my refund, I'm gonna chill. And then hopefully this all happens within the next like three years. Cause I'm gonna try to get my EU by next year. By next year, I'm gonna try to get my EU endorsement or my fireman and water setting an RFP, something W, whatever. I'm gonna try to get that by next year. And then once I get that, I'm gonna come back with them and see, like, hey, this is what I got. What can you do for me? Blah, 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 blah. And then get back on the ship. If I get it by next year, get back on the EPF. Man, I'm a whatever EPF I'm on, I'm gonna ride that motherfucker out. Cause even EUs, I saw one of my friends, he grows like five grand for two weeks, five grand, and then um, there was one time they grew six, but that was they were they were killing themselves. They were, they were killing themselves. There was six grand every two weeks. It was crazy. It was crazy. So I'm saying I'm not. I wouldn't like work really hard. Yeah, of course I'm gonna work really hard as much as possible to get as much money as possible. But I get my EU endorsement and then. Off the rip, I'm trying to get my reefer. And once I get my reefer, I'm gonna chill out. And then by that point, I'm already gonna be sailing a lot different. Right now, I'm already sailing whenever I want. But by that point, I'm gonna sail like I'm not gonna be sailing too crazy. Just enough. I'm, just, I'm gonna keep going into just enough time to get my third third engineer's license. Then once I get my thirds, I might chill out. But um, I have a many other moves that I'm doing. Like many, many other moves that I am doing. So I'm trying to get out of here making as much money as I possibly can while I'm in because I know my girl she's ready for me to be home you know what I'm saying so but like if you come out here make your moves make your moves this video is way longer than I thought it was going to be um probably just going to be the only video I'm, gonna be, <laughs> so I'm not even going to add this to another video I love y'all deuces